In this video, we will see a practical implementation of using Azure OpenAI where you can chat with your own documents. So we will create a .NET Core web application where user can upload files and then using Azure Cognitive Search, the web application will index those documents. And then in the web application itself, the users can chat with their own documents. So here is the basic architecture of the application and the components used. And here are the steps that we will perform. So we will create the required Azure resources like storage account, cognitive search and Azure open AI. And then we will deploy a new GPT model in Azure open AI and use all these components in the web application. So let's start with the implementation. Here is what the web application will look like. So here we can upload the document. So this will be uploaded into the storage document and then indexed in the cognitive search. And then on the search your documents page, uh, we can just chat with the document. Now let's create the Azure resources first. So now we will create the storage account first. Let's name it storage account demo open AI. I'll keep the region as East US and change the redundancy to LRS and keep the other settings as it is. I'll just uncheck the soft delete for blobs and containers. Uh, you can keep it as it is if you want and create the storage account. Now our storage account has been created. So go to containers, create a new container called input files. And for now I will upload just one document in it and we will upload the rest of the documents through a web application. So select the template resume and upload. Now let's create the Azure Cognitive Search. So I'll name the service as AC Cognitive Demo Open AI. Keep the region as same. And for pricing, we cannot choose the free tier because it will not be accessible through Open AI. So I'll select the basic one for now. Select next. Keep the other values as default and create. The Azure Cognitive Search service has been created. Now let's create the index and the indexer. Now before we create the index, we have to add the data source, which is our storage account into the search service. So go to data sources, click on add data source, provide a name for the data source. So I'll name it as data source demo. Now to connect the storage account, we have to provide the connection string. So click on choose an existing connection, select the storage account, select the container and click save. So this will create the data source into the cognitive search service. Now to create the index, we have to import the data from the data source that we have added. Click on import data. Select your data source. Click on add cognitive skills. Uh, this might take some time to uh, read the data source. You can read more about the Azure Cognitive Search in the documentation link that I've provided below. Now in the add cognitive skills section, uh, we can provide options to read the documents and to read the embedded images. Go to add enrichments and click on enable OCR checkbox. So what this will do is if there are any embedded images in your PDF documents, uh, so this will read the text from those embedded images. So these cognitive skills are provided with Azure Cognitive Search service to make the document searchable and to extract text from the document. So I'll name this skill set as easy skill set demo and the text which is extracted from the embedded images uh, will go into the merge content field which will be added to the index. Now click on customize target index. Now here you have to provide the index name. So I'll provide the name as index one demo. Key is the field uh, which is used to uniquely identify each document stored with the index. And here are the index fields uh, which cognitive search will populate after extracting the data from the document. So we can make these fields as uh, filterable, retrievable and sortable. So I'll check a retrievable, filterable and sortable for all the fields. For searchable, I'll keep the content field as searchable 
and the merge content and text in text layout is searchable. Now click on create an indexer. Provide a name for the indexer. So an indexer is basically used to refresh the index. So suppose if you upload a new document in your storage account and then you have to index the document. So an indexer will run on a particular schedule or can be invoked through code which we'll see later in the video and it will refresh the index. Keep the advanced option as it is and click on submit. So this will start creating the index and the indexer based on our data source and import data. The index will take some time to read the documents and update the document count here. Uh, so after waiting for a couple of minutes, when I hit refresh, we can see that the document count has been updated here. And if I go to indexer, you will see a success status here. And if I click on the indexer, uh, we can see the execution history uh, that it has successfully read the document and populated the index. And if we go to index, we can see the fields and the checkboxes that we have selected earlier. In the index, we have to add semantic configurations so that we can search based on semantics and not only through uh, keywords. So click on add semantic configuration, provide a name for the configuration. So I'll name it as semantic config demo and in the content field, select content because both these fields uh, will have the content data from the document. Click on save, click save again. So this will update the semantic configuration in the index. So now the Azure Cognitive Search service creation is completed. And now we will create the Azure Open AI resource.